welcome to the channel surya tv jobs so today we are discussing class 10th okay chapter 1 chapter 1 india relief futures okay indian relief futures and we are we are discussing the introduction of this lesson okay so what exactly is r generally what normally okay but normally what normally relief is means okay what is the relief means okay relief is nothing but what where exactly the people are uh, try to live on the land forms okay now features means nothing but the elements okay relief features elements means wherever the people want to live on that particular places for example so generally what reliefs features okay relief features are nothing but here different kind of a land form features are nothing but the elements where the people want to live so they want to relieve they want to live on it okay now when we observe that what are the general land form which are present in india which are present in india for example we have a six different physical features also we can call it as our relief features also we can call it as our physiography also we can call it as or even we can call it as a major physical divisions also we can call it as okay so in that so we have a relief features where the people want to live or have been living or they are present now okay now so these are the land forms so for example himalayas is one type of a land form okay the another one is that okay so indo ganetic plains okay indo ganetic plains okay indo ganetic plains as well then one more then we have a plateau okay we have a plateau okay then other side we have a coastal plains okay we have a coastal plains also then this is also one more land form then other side so we have a islands okay we have a island the last the one more which is desert okay so these are the elements of the land forms okay of relief features of india so we'll discuss about this in further more in our next classes now so generally now i brought a test book in front of you because we i like to uh, discuss very deeply of each of the topic of the test book because no such kind of a topic need to be skip in the point of view of the 10th trip class you know very well that the, it is a state board exam as well it's a public exam so that the students are basically lagging behind of some topics so that here what i what i want to do is so actually want to give a uh, brief uh, lecture or the classes on this regarding 10th class especially right so generally what so if you have any doubts regarding in these chapters or else whatever then you can make me a comment and definitely i'll going to clarify whatever the doubt and if it is possible if it is necessary definitely i'll make sure to create a, a video regarding on your doubts also even so let's you go for the for the more topic so today uh, what we are discussing is that really what really features and in front of you there is a textbook given also then so first passage whatever the there here what are the passage is mentioned over here this which will deals about generally what relief features of india okay so relief features of india and also this chapter having interlink what this passage is saying the what this chapter means chapter 1 has interlink with chapter even 4 even 5 even 6 also so this is the chapter it is a very important one the first chapter have interlink with even with even with 4 5 6 so for example if you see chapter 1 is india relief features now chapter 4 if you go for climate of india okay chapter 5 if you go indian rivers and water resources chapter 6 if you go the population okay so these are here clearly you can observe here here completely here right so we would exam the linkages with the relief features means these chapters whatever there even Four, five, six having interlink with the relief features of the chapter one also. Is it it? Is it clear? Right, right. Now let you go for the passage two. What this passage two? For example, what this passage is saying. So mention any two places would you like to see in our country? For example, I want to see. I want to see Himalayas. Okay, I want to see Himalayas. Next, you see. Write the reason for selecting of those places. So means what any places, but when I selected Himalayas, okay. So what exactly the Himalayas? It's a very extreme cold, cold, extreme cold, and extreme cold surface area. 
okay as compared to the south as compared to the west of india as compared to east of india okay so extremely cold area and only a some kind of a elements can be possible to do agriculture in this particular region okay then why you selected this area means what food habit culture isn't it tradition will be different so that is what i have selected i want to leave that area okay so so even some hill stations are in this region some peaks are there in this region some mountains are there in this region okay then you can go for further more depth of it so this is the example of it right now let's go for what are the leaf features of telangana other region that you want to what you have already read in your early classes for example we'll take the telangana region okay telangana region if you see telangana region is completely a plateau region because in telangana is situated on the deccan plateau okay so what what the special features how the people will live here okay generally we can see the forest area okay then at the same time then associated with the forest right at the same time the people have living on the river areas okay river areas right like godavari and krishna this is the one more really feature we can say and also naturally which was created as well as and even if you go for further more there are different waterfalls are there okay so this is one more example for you okay now now let me go for means here they have mentioned here the question is that with the help of the uh, world map world map okay world map with the help of the world map or if you go for with the help of the your atlas also you can further refer in it now we'll come this passage is completed now we are coming down to the map pointing you can observe this world map right so there are continents are there oceans are there okay we have a we have a how many continents seven continents we have five oceans we have okay this is clear now let's we go for the down so there is a bullet point here is here okay location so what is the question is here look at the world map okay just observe the world map write a few lines about the indian location with a reference place marked on the map okay what is saying here what this question is about that observe this particular world map and where exactly the india is located where exactly the india is located or marked on it very clear is it is it that the question is clear right okay so what we have saw on that then what was the question is here the where exactly the india is located on the world map okay now let me do for example we'll take a example of the we'll take a example of the cardinal lines okay we'll take the example of the cardinal lines okay so we'll draw the cardinal lines okay then we can understand further more better so the cardinal lines nothing but here cardinals are nothing but here generally these are like directions you know very well you have studied in the uh, early class also in our in your small classes even okay these are the cardinal right we have four cardinals right okay so these are called cardinal right where exactly the the india is located now north south west east okay in a same way some more cardinal lines also join in it okay some more four okay now north west and here in this corner we can code it as a we can code it as a okay we can code it as a we can code it as a north east yes is it north east now south east now this is the corner is become as a south east now south west and become as a south west okay this corner now north west north is here west is here and this is become as a north west okay now according to the world map then if you believe or if you observe it as a now you can imagine this is as a world map on a four sides not not only four sides even on the additional lines means including of it eight lines now where exactly the india is located india is located in this particular area okay this particular area in the sense india is located on the india is located on the what exactly very good india is located on the north eastern side north eastern side throughout entire the world map is it clear which side north okay northern side north eastern side okay so north eastern side also very clear north eastern side even it is located north eastern side can be predict as a northern hemisphere is it northern hemisphere exactly yes this is northern hemisphere only okay north eastern side the india is located very clear and the same time north hemisphere northern hemisphere okay is it clear right now 
let me see that so for example i like to draw very roughly not uh, according to the scale not to scale so roughly i want to draw the india map then so india map in a sense even in the last classes means nothing but in the ninth class so you have studied even right even you studied about the longitudes and latitudes okay longitudes and latitudes also you have studied okay you have studied the longitudes and latitudes so according to it what we are doing is so what where exactly the india is located what was the question is where in the world map it is located and then where exactly the location of the india for example now let me see you know very well that latitudes okay latitudes okay you know very well the latitudes okay so generally what we know that longitudes okay longitudes okay right then even we know the latitudes also okay we know the latitudes also fine we know the latitudes also okay we know the latitudes we know the latitudes we know the longitudes also now let me see where exactly the india is located now latitudes okay so up up the north of the latitude of india so north of it south of the latitude now sides if you take a side of west and east west side east side these are called these are longitudes okay longitudes right so longitudes okay so this is the west side east longitude so where exactly the india is located for example india is located on the latitude of of the north north of the latitude of the north 37 okay 37.6 of the north latitude okay south south latitude is 8.4 we we'll discuss further more about the latitudes okay 8.4 clear is it clear 8.4 now coming to the left of the longitude left of the longitude okay left of the longitude is 68.7 68.7 now east of the longitude east of the longitude 92 97.25 97.25 eastern latitude eastern longitude okay now so what was that 37.6 of the latitude of north 37.6 of the northern latitude then southern latitude is 8.4 now western longitude is longitude longitude 68.7 then eastern side of the longitude is 97.25 now now if you make it as a then this longitudes and longitudes latitudes and longitudes join so this is called as a grid you have studied in your ninth class even this is called grid so grid means nothing but what so latitudes and longitude i am writing roughly okay so for example this is what okay latitude and longitude means what 68.7 longitude to 97.25 longitude the india is located and 37.6 northern latitude to 8.4 latitude india is located in this particular location is it clear is it clear right is it clear now let me see so what was the question they asked in the now you can see that we got the answer right we got the answer for this question now if you go for the second page then you can see the same the latitudes and longitudes accurately means accurately perfectly located on a particular place this stay this question this question will ask you okay down there is a there is a passage okay now see india is very ex extensively country and lies totally what southern hemisphere is it that does it is located on the southern hemisphere no it is located in northern hemisphere already we discussed right on of the globe okay of the globe now the country mainland lines lies between okay now you can see that eight of the eight of the northern latitude okay then 50 degrees of the southern latitude and 68 of the western lat longitude then 9 of the 
east end eastern side eastern side of the longitude is it that this is the wrong statement they have given they have given the wrong statement in the test book so we need to correct it we need to correct it is it it we need to correct it we need to so we need to correct it so that we have done it right we have done it right what is that this is the correct one okay north is 37.6 south is 8.4 then west is 68.7 then east is 97.25 this is the correct latitude and longitude now we got the answer for the second bullet point so we got the first and second bullet point answer now let me see the one more okay why do we often to use the term as the indian peninsula why do we to use the often to use the indian peninsula the term the term is used indian peninsula why so why we will use because india right it is indian peninsula nothing but what F three sides three sides we have a uh, water because three three sides we have water for example here we have a arabian sea on the western side eastern side we have a bay of bengal and southern side we have a indian ocean indian ocean so that is what we will called as a peninsula three sides we have a river so water resources so that we will called as a indian peninsula now third third bullet point also we got the answer now let's we go we'll go for the further so here is the question is that you imagine yourself that india is located in arctic region okay india is located in arctic region where exactly the na arctic region will be the arctic region will be in the northern side northern side okay now you need to recall once you need to recall once that seventh class topic okay polar region are also you need to recall once that eighth class okay so what is that if it is india is located okay india is located near to the arctic region what would be the how would be the how would be the conditions of the climate then how would be the food habits how would be the uh, people of livelihood is it it how what would be the uh, people is to wear is it it what what kind of a cultivation they should do what kind of a uh, things will be available for them see generally what the people is to wear the uh, in polar region so sweaters they will wear isn't it because they does not having any sunlight for the uh, very very nominal very nominal sunlight will be in that particular area is it it right so very nominal sunlight and due to that the people is to do very little agriculture and the people is to do hunting and with the hunting whatever they have is to be carry the food the like for example of hunt with the help of the hunting they is to what they is to hunt such kind of animals okay walrus or maybe caribous okay then other side the people is to do what fishing is the one kind of a agriculture activity they should do catching of fishes so these kind of a two things only they is to do and they is to depend upon little bit of a uh, fruits okay so these are the uh, climatic conditions over there if it is india is located near to it so almost all it is a coldest area very coldest severe coldest area we can say that so now you got the answer for that that even that question also right now one more bullet point is there here one more bullet point is there okay identify the indra point and the atlas what is the speciality of this okay now so where exactly the indra indra point is located now let me see that we have a andaman nicobar islands we have a andaman nicobar islands so andaman okay north of the andaman and down of the nicobars okay andamans are up and down is nicobars okay so where the indra point is located indra point is located north of the nicobars means what th these are if it is nicobars okay if it is not the exactly nicobars so nicobars are there north point okay north point is nicobars okay north point is the nicobar clear is it so specially why it is become as a indra point why the mention because 2004 2004 one of the tsunami was happened in this area in this particular area so that is why the indra point as named in the name of shrimati indra gandhi right by that time congress party was there in the government so that the people have mentioned it as indra point so internally destruction from the myanmar where it's type of a tsunami which was occurred so that it was pointed as a indra point